This video is for anyone that might be having the error appearing on their dashboard saying that their front radar or collision detection system is blocked or not operating correctly and also affecting the adaptive cruise control. This is a 2022 Hyundai Tucson. I've been having this trouble for six months now. The body shop that did the repairs after we hit a deer, which is when all the problems started, claimed everything was fine, did a reset on the computer systems. Six months later, I decided to take it to the dealer. The dealer did an ECU update and again said everything was fine and it happened again on the way home. So tonight I took the bumper cover off to take a look at the radar myself. The radar is located in the very front lower passenger side. It's right down here. That is the radar. And when I did, this is what I found. It's not bolted in at all. Well, it's bolted in, but not very tight. So either the body shop put it in, hand tightened and never actually tightened them down, and it came loose over time, or they never even checked the thing. It got hit. Who knows? It looks like they actually might have replaced this whole piece. Well, I don't know. Not going to speculate. All I know is this is the reason. So I'm going to tighten these down, get this back, and make it sure it's secure, and take it out and make sure everything's working all right. The problem, the only other issue that you may have, if this is a problem you are having, you'll notice that once this is tight, the radar actually has two other bolts that hold it to the bracket. There's one on top and there's one on bottom, and each one has a different thread length, meaning that this has been adjusted so you can change the angle of the radar. And the system has to be calibrated so that the radar and the camera that's in the upper top part of your windshield are working correctly. So I'm just going to hope to God that these threads are exact as they were from the dealership and calibrated as they were from the dealership. So I don't have to have this recalibrated. If that is the issue, then I will have to take it back to that body shop and make them get insurance involved because they should have done that and checked that before they sent this back out to me. One more thing I'll show you why I got this off. If you have the hybrid version like I do, and that god awful backup sound, this is the speaker that makes that sound. Now the cables, there's a whole bunch of wires, so I don't suggest cutting this or trying to remove this because it's probably all connected to the entire system. However, I went to Summit and they've got this really thick three quarter inch or half inch sound absorbing material that's super sticky on the back. Um, covering your trunks. I forget what brand this is, but uh, just cutting off a piece that fits right over that speaker and then sticking it to that speaker. It doesn't completely eliminate it, but it does quiet it down a hell of a lot. And then it's actually tolerable. So that's it. Good luck. I hope this helps somebody out there.